Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Like a greenhouse, the wordplay can't get colorful. The scriptures cutting you the to butter too. Not to mention we a living legend. Don't know what to do when a myth is standing right in front of you. You better watch and just take notes. The father sent the flood in a rainbow, but his son coming back with fire, so it ain't gonna be no more scapegoats. Let me tell you what the prophecy, unparalleled with the prophecies. Stopping fritz, bodies in the street. My people, property in this monopoly. Call it America, where the dreams come true, where nightmares and the demons come too. The side of my agenda. I don't give a damn if you offended. You are not supposed to go against your people. You are not supposed to go against your people. You're supposed to go against your enemies, not your people. Bring it out, huh? And your people ain't your enemy. Just because we got disagreements don't make them an enemy. That's right. Our enemies is the ones that shooting us in the street. Bring it out. Our enemies is the ones that got us protesting all over the country right now. Our enemies is the ones that constantly shoot us down and then they get off not guilty. Those are our enemies. Our enemies is the ones that put us in slavery. Our enemies is the ones that had Mississippi be the cotton capital of the world. Right. Ain't no black people told black people to go pick cotton and then cut their hands off if they didn't meet the quota. Wasn't no black people doing that. It was the same people that run your businesses, the same people that run your country, the same people that run the world. That is the ones, that's our enemies. Read. I am the Lord. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. If we stop hating each other, we would be able to come together better when one of us is wronged by the other nations. If we stop hating one another, we would know that Hispanics and black people are the same people. We would know that. We would know that people that come from Honduras, and people that come from Mexico, and people that come from Venezuela, and people that come from Brazil, and people that come from Honduras, that they're all the same people as the Negro. That's right. They had Hispanic people that got lynched just like black people. They had Hispanic people, they get shot down in the street just like black people. Bring it out. And why? Because we are the same. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. What rebuke me? Rebuke me to correct or to judge. Read it again. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. We are supposed to correct our neighbor. How you doing, bro? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Come around real quick. Is it a good or a bad thing that black people keep getting shot down by the police? Horrible thing. Horrible thing. Is it a good or a bad thing that black people are at the bottom of society? Bad thing that we're at the bottom. Because as a whole, we're at the bottom. Right. You may have a few stragglers that may make it to a millionaire or billionaire status. But how is
is it that us as a whole, we're not billionaires? How is it us as a whole and not millionaires? How is it us as a whole, we're not living in the best conditions? That's a good question. You can tell me. I can, and I will. Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. The book Let me show you something. You believe in the Bible? Yep. All right. Now, the book of Deuteronomy took place after the exodus in Egypt. Moses parted the Red Sea, we walked out, and we went into the wilderness. If you know in, in, in uh, if you know any of the stories in the Bible, we went through a whole lot of trauma in the wilderness. We was being rebellious, we didn't want to follow the laws that was given to us, but we just got saved out of captivity. Because our people from junk, we stiff necked and rebellious. But watch what God said, read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse one. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hearken diligently means to listen carefully, listen closely. If we listen to the voice of God, which is his laws, read. And observe to do all his commandments. And we do the commandments that he gave us, read. Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. No, equal to all nations. Above all nations of the earth. What's your name? Josh. Josh, my name Matthew. Are we above all nations, Josh? No. Are we below all nations? But right here he said if we listen to his commandments, he was going to put us above all nations, right? Now watch the flip side. Verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we don't listen to God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Curses was going to come upon our people, Josh, if we did not follow God's laws. Now watch this. Read on. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Let me ask you something, Josh. You know a little bit about history? No. A little bit. A little bit? Just a little bit. A little bit. Now, I know a few things about history. But I don't ever remember seeing Arabs, Chinese, or white people in cotton fields like black people was. Look at the bottom of that sign right here. Read that, read that scripture again. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed and in the city. If you want to go, how many states you been to before in your life? About five. About five? Anywhere that you wanted to go in them five states to find black people, where you went? In any of them five states that you that you visited, and you wanted to find where the black people was, where'd you go? Outside. Outside where? To the city. What part of the city? Is the good part of the city? Bad part of the city. You go to the hood to find black people, right? Yeah. I mean, it, some of us live in the suburbs. The majority of us live in the hood, though. And the ones that live in the suburbs, they kind of distance themselves from the ones that live in the projects. That's right. We Bring do. it out. Because we think, oh, I made it, so I need to get out. I'm not going to help nobody. You need to do what I did to get out. Not everybody has those choices. You know what I'm saying? But the scriptures say we're going to be cursed in the city. That's why when we go to the city, we the ones that's cursed. Getting shot down, is that a good thing or a curse? That's so bad. Freddie Gray, he was in the city, got his back broken. Eric Gardner, he was in the city, got choked to death. George Floyd. He was in the city. He got choked to death. These things happen to us. They don't happen to other people. Read on. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Uh huh. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Are you familiar with uh, a TV show called The Wire? Nah. Well, there's a TV show called The Wire. On there is a man named Wendell Pierce. He plays a dude named Bump Morley. He's from New Orleans. He opened up a grocery store in New Orleans, black owned. Within 14 months, it was over. Why? Read it again. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Our basket goes into our savings. Our store goes into the storehouses where we collect for, for economic value. Watch this, verse 32. Bring it out. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It said, our sons and our daughters shall be given to another people. Who did that happen to? Tell me, read it again. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. When we was in slavery, 
Did we get to keep our children? No. They were sold to other people, right? That's exactly what the Bible's talking about. Did that happen to anybody else in history? No. They didn't. Even all of the, the empires that rose up, they didn't take their children away and sell them to somebody in another country. But they did that to us, though. Read verse 37. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. An astonishment. What do you think world star hip hop is used for? Or... Bring it out. I don't know. It's used to make our people look stupid. Right. Like, like Maury. Right. Are you the father? Primarily black people on there. You know what I'm saying? Right. We get used to make look stupid. That's why our women be out there twerking in, in, at a protest talking about we need to bring change. Right. How's popping your butt in front of a camera Gonna bring change twerk, to us twerk as a community. For change. We twerk what could change? change? Nothing. Only thing that's gonna change the mindset of the people to be more hormones. Right. To smash more women, contract more STDs, have more baby mamas, and less families. That's it. Read on. A proverb. A proverb. You know what a proverb is? I do not. A proverb is a wise saying. Like, if you wanna hide something from a nigga, put it in the book. Put it in the book. You know what I'm saying? Let me give you one more. Verse 68. Okay. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, when we left out of Egypt, we didn't go back to it. Egypt is synonymous with bondage. That's what Egypt itself means. He said we was going to go into bondage again. Read on. With ships. With what? With ships. Throughout all history, what people went into bondage or slavery by way of slave ships? This is how we know that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Not African Americans, not Negroes, not colored. Because we was given a lot of names through our history, right? We was niggas, we was slaves, we was colored, we was porch monkeys, we was jigaboos, we was Afro-American, African American. Bring it out, up. But now the Bible has shown us that we are the Israelites. That's right. And why did we have to go through these names? Because we didn't want to follow his commandments. Hosea 5.15. We remember, he said we're gonna be above all people. Bring it out, right? But if we didn't listen, we was gonna be cursed, right? Cursed in the city, cursed in the field, picking cotton, getting killed in the city, being called the proverb, a byword, having our children sold to other people, going into slavery by way of slave ships. This didn't happen to nobody else but us. No other people in the world can claim our history. That's why they can't claim our Bible. Bring it up. Because when they do claim our Bible, they turn that black image of Christ into that white image of Christ. And with that white image of Christ comes a whole new doctrine, a whole new teaching that we don't get taught. Read. The book of Hosea, chapter 5, and verse 15. I will go and return to my place. God said he's going to go and return to his place. Read. Until they acknowledge their offense. Until we acknowledge where we went wrong with him. You ever told somebody to do something, right? You're like, hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. And then they do it. What you say? I told you. After a while, sometimes you got to let people crash and burn. And that's what God did with us. He kept telling us over and over. He was sending prophet after prophet after prophet. Telling us, hey, you need to keep the laws. Right. Keep the laws. Right. Keep the laws. We said, no. Nah. So you know what he said? All right, fine. You have it your way. And now with our way, we get killed in the streets. Bring it out. We got the lowest, the lowest uh, uh, education. We the first fired, last hired. Teach. We don't have no family structure to stand up on. Bring it out, huh? To see a black family with a lot of kids, that black family is. Why not have all them kids? Didn't we used to have big families before? You know what I'm saying? But they putting stigmas in our head that we should be one way. Right. We're supposed to accept everybody when we continually get murdered in the street by the people who's supposed to protect us. And then the, 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 the president, the so-called commander in chief, he's egging it on. Right. You know what I'm saying? And yet we're still looking towards the same people that's killing us for some sort of salvation. Read on. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction. In our affliction, they will seek me early. When you see somebody that's in the hospital dying, what's the first thing they cry out? Um, God help me. God help me. Because huh. it's in affliction. Now, 
Now that we're being murdered and now that there's protesting going on, now the black people is like, oh my God, God, why is this happening to us? We've been saying it for years. We have to keep the commandments. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, I know I see you looking over there, you probably gotta go. Did you know that the beard that you have on your face is a commandment that you're keeping? You probably didn't even know it. Bring it out. Watch this, Leviticus 21.5. It's a commandment? It's a commandment. Look, no, I got I a gotta, beard. I gotta, we got to keep it. We have to. Uh -oh. You want to know why? Why? Because in Egypt, the Egyptians shave off all of their hair. They think their body hair is disgusting. Right. So spending 400 years in Egypt, what we started to do? Started to shave ourselves too. Right. But coming out of Egypt, all the laws that we was given is contrary to what was going on in Egypt. Right. And this is one instance. Read the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. We're not supposed to make ourselves bald. If you're already going bald, you're losing your hair, that's one thing. Can't, you can't stop that. But to physically make it bald, like take a razor to it and make it bald, not saying you can't get a haircut, but you can't take a razor to your head and make it bald. You know what I'm saying? Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Neither shall they do what? Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall we shave off our beard. If you look around at all of these brothers in purple, we all have beards on our face. Now some brothers can't grow it. They physically can't grow it. Everybody's beard doesn't grow the same. Some people they just gonna have a goatee, some people just gonna have this, some people only gonna have a mustache. But that's a law that we were supposed to follow. How you doing, sis? You had a question? What's the question? Well, it didn't say his skin turned white, but it did say he gonna set a mark upon him. I want you to see something. I'm gonna give you something, all right? I don't know what I'm gonna do this. Go to Genesis 2 and 7. Bring it out. But the reason why I'm giving, because you can ask the same question to somebody else, they're not gonna know the answer. But we study for these things. Right. Read that. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Let me ask you a question. What's your name? Christian? All right, Christian, Josh, I'm Matthew. What color is the dust of the ground? Brown, right? Make it plain. Your color? Your color? It goes from a very light color like mine to a very a dark color like my brother's. Read it again. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. God formed man. The first man who is Adam was formed from the dust of the ground. So what color was Adam? Just like you're brown, but we call ourselves black. Right? My pants are black, but my skin is brown. We're different shades, but we all gotta check off black. That's a color. You know what I'm saying? So if Adam was black, what color was Adam's sons? Black. If that Adam's sons was black, what color was Noah? Before the flood. What color was Noah's sons? Bring it out! Black. Right? That's right. So everybody from Genesis 1. All the way to what I'm about to show you, everybody was black at the time. Everybody, because he formed man of the dust of the ground, right? Now watch this. Read that. Genesis 25, 21. The book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 21. This is our forefather. Remember, you ever read in the Bible or heard in the Bible, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? This is talking about Isaac. Isaac and his wife, Rebecca. All right? This is how Jacob came to be. Read. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife. Because she was barren. So barren means what? She, she couldn't have kids. When she was barren, she could not have children. And that happens a lot with our sisters. They can't have kids. But Isaac prayed to the Lord for his wife so that she could get pregnant. Read. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. So the Lord heard his prayer and allowed her to get pregnant. Read. And the children struggled together within her. The children struggled together within her. So what was inside of her womb? Twins. Read. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? Like, if this is a good thing that I'm pregnant now, why are the, the, the kids fighting within my stomach? I mean, you have children? If you get children, when that baby kick, when them babies move, and they're pressing up against your lungs and your liver and all that, you feel it. So imagine having two children boxing each other in your stomach. Read. And she went to inquire of the Lord. So she went and prayed to the Lord. Why did children fight? Read. And the Lord said unto her. This is what God said. 
Two nations are in thy womb. Two nations are in your womb. Two different nations of people. Read. And the two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Two manner of people. Meaning two totally different types of people are going to be separated from your bodies. Meaning when you give birth to them, one's going to go one way and the other's going to go another way. They're going to be two totally different people. They're not going to be the same. Read. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. One of the children is going to be stronger than the other children and their people. Read. And the elder shall serve the younger. The first one that comes out is going to serve the one that comes out second. Read. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. He was right. There was twins in her womb. Read. And the first came out red. The first came out what? First came out red. The first came out what? The first came out red. Hmm. Dust of the ground. Cain killed Abel. He said he was going to put a mark on him. And right here, he said the first baby came out red. Read. All over like a hairy garment. It came out red and hairy. Read. And they called his name Esau. And they called his name what? Esau. Esau. He said he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Read. And after that came out his brother. And his hand took hold of Esau's heel. Remember it said, the elder shall serve the younger. They was fighting so much, Jacob was still holding on to his foot when he came out. Read. And his name was called Jacob. And his name was called Jacob. Read. And Isaac was three score years old when she buried. So let me ask you a question, Christy. How come they describe what Esau looked like, but they didn't describe what Jacob looked like? Because Jacob was the same color as everybody else. Right. For instance, if y'all was married, and y'all had a baby, and we were all close friends. Would you call me on the phone and say, hey, my baby came out brown? You would damn sure pick the phone up and be like, bro, I had a baby and the baby was red. You know what I'm saying? Not red like light skin, I'm talking about red. Huh? Everybody, everybody comes out really light, but this baby came out red. Now, white, your shirt is white. Are, are there people walking around this earth with that color? What color are white people? They're red. If you smack them in the face, they get red. Down here in the south, we call them rednecks. Leave them out in the sun too long, they get red. And if you don't give them a raise, they get very hairy. You know what I'm saying? So right here, it shows you. Two babies was born. One was stricken, and Esau means wasted away. That's what it means. Wasted away, see that's what his name means. One came out red with no melanin, no color at all. White. He was a white baby. Now watch this. It's gonna it's gonna give more description. Read on. Verse 27. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter. Esau was a cunning hunter. Read. A man of the field. A man of the field. Who be out there hunting all kind of alligators and tigers and giraffes? You see people shooting giraffes? White, I mean, black people shoot giraffes? Who shoot giraffes and lions and elephants? Who got hunting shows on ESPN? Because they are cunning hunters. And they are men of the field. What they be smelling like? They be smelling like animals. Outside. Read. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Read on. Verse 28. And Isaac loved Esau. I'm going to show you something about Esau that you should know. Read. Because he did eat of his venison. But Rebekah loved Jacob. Uh huh. And Jacob sided pottage. So Jacob was cooking meat. That's what pottage is. Read. And Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage. The same what? That same red pottage. If Jacob was cooking meat, and Esau said, Give me some of that red meat. What that mean with the meat? It was done all the way. How white folk eat their meat? Red, bloody, all kind of juices pouring out of it. Their people do this. That's the spirit of Cain. Because if when you read on in chapter 27, Esau hates Jacob. We're Jacob. The white folks are Esau. Bring it up. Don't they kill us? Didn't Cain kill his brother? They was twins. Wasn't they brothers? 
but one killed another. One pursues another. And it's till this day, Ezekiel 35 and 5. I'm going to give y'all this so y'all can uh, get where y'all need to go. Their, their hatred against us is not new. When you think of racism, do you think of uh, East Indian versus Chinese? What about African versus Aboriginal? Hmm. When you think of racism, what, what comes in your head? White and black. Right. Because it's always been like that. Right. So why are we looking at white people who changed the color of our God, who changed the color of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who told us that we're all equal, everybody love everybody, but they steady shooting us down? Read that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, and verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. They have had a perpetual hatred. Read and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. And they shed the blood of the children of Israel. George Floyd kill us and shoot us down on the street. While we're the ones talking about no justice, no peace, laying down on the street talking about I can't breathe. You know what I'm saying? So what do we have to do, Josh? Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. That's what we have to do. Sis, you're a princess. Modesty. Is the key. Oh yeah, I'm very good. No, 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 no. I mean, my you, my wife worked out. She wears a dress. The churches are not going to tell you what we're telling you. See, that's love. I'm trying to show love. There's a reason why there's a high uh, STD rate. There's a reason why there's a high baby mama, baby daddy rate. There's a reason why there's a high no virginity rate among our people. Because if a man walk down the street and see a butt that he won't, he's going to say any and everything to get it. I do know all of, you know, all of this is better. It's holy. So why not cover it? If you know, look, sis, let me ask you a question. What's wrong with the Bible telling you to dress modest? Is there anything wrong with that? What part is wrong? Well, we're going to be here forever. We're going to be here for a long time. The whole Bible is true. Give me Romans 3 and 3. Bring it out. So All right. Remember, we are the Israelites and we have to keep the commandments. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.